Now let's take a look at treatment options and how they compare in type 1 and type 2 diabetes. There is one treatment for type 1 diabetes. You can remember this by thinking one for one. And that treatment is insulin. These patients are insulin dependent for life. Insulin pumps are very common for type 1 diabetics and are able to provide a set amount of insulin throughout the day based on the patient's blood sugar changes. It's important to know that oral hypoglycemic agents will not work for patients with type 1 diabetes. Remember, they are insulin dependent for life. Now for type 2 diabetes, the treatment is different. Diet modifications such as consistent carbohydrate diet are so important. This means the patient consumes a consistent amount of carbs to help avoid that erratic blood sugar levels. Other diet modifications include sugar-free snacks and drinks and increased fluid intake. Exercise can also help to improve that vascular health and decrease body weight. These positive changes can lead to better glucose levels. Now, medications for type 2 diabetes include insulin and oral hypoglycemic agents. Let's compare the two. Again, oral hypoglycemic agents can only be used in type 2 diabetes. Common examples include metformin and glipizide. It's important to know that oral hypoglycemic agents should be stopped 24 to 48 hours prior to the administration of IV contrast dye. Now for insulin. Insulin may or may not be given routinely. Treatment really depends on the individual patient. Some may require both insulin and oral hypoglycemic agents, while other patients may take oral medications only. Insulin treatment may be given or doses may be increased with stress, surgery, sickness, and steroid use. All of these things cause blood sugar levels to spike. Now, a quick review of the four main types of insulin to know. First off is rapid-acting insulin. Here are the medications to know for rapid-acting insulins. This acts within 15 minutes and poses the highest risk for hypoglycemia. The patient must eat a meal within 15 minutes of administration to prevent dangerous drop in glucose levels. You can remember this by the memory trick, Humalog, think hurry up and give food. Now the second type of insulin is called regular. This includes Humulin R and Novolin R, with the R standing for regular. Now regular insulin is the only insulin that can be given IV. You can remember this by the memory trick, regular insulin goes right into the vein. The third type of insulin is intermediate. These include NPH or Humulin N and Novolin N. These are typically prescribed as a standing order twice per day in the morning and evening. And finally, long-acting insulin. Here are some common names to be familiar with for long-acting insulin. Now, you never want to mix long-acting insulin with other insulins. You can remember this by the memory trick, long-acting think lonely. If you want the rest of this video, check out Nurse in the Making Plus. This includes access to our growing video library, interactive worksheets that go with each video, and practice questions. You can get access to Nurse in the Making Plus with the Complete Nursing School Bundle. Click the link to the Complete Nursing School Bundle and join thousands of other future nurses using Nurse in the Making Plus. You got this, future nurse.